Hello, my name is Maria Miller from mathmamoth.com. In this video we're going to study using two variables. This is basically an introduction to the topic. Now, here I have an equation because it is an equal sign and it has two variables, so two unknowns, y and x. So, we're not actually going to solve it, okay? We are going to analyze it. We're going to think of it as a relationship between y and x, where y is a variable, its value can change, and x is a variable, so its value can change too. But this relationship is always true, that y equals 2x. y is double x. So what I do is I will give x some values, that if x was 0, or if x was 1, or 2, or 3, or 4, then I will check what y would be. If x is 0, then y equals 2 times 0, which is 0. Okay, if x is 1, then I put 1 here, 2 times 1, and y equals 2. y is always double x, it's a very simple relationship. And I could continue this my table for forever, I guess. But the other thing we often do with this kind of equation where there's two variables is we will plot these points here. Each number pair is one point, right? Because if you have a pair of numbers, you can think of them as coordinates and you can plot them in the coordinate grid. Where I have my x coordinate going this way and y coordinate going that way. My first point here is 0, 0. So it is the origin here. The second point is 1, 2. I go 1 this way and 2 up. And then 2, 4. 2 here and 4 up. And then 3 and 6. 4 and 8. Like that. You can see now here that this graph forms a pattern. These dots are here as if on a line. And it continues the same way if I go 5 and 10, 6 and 12, and so on. Okay? Now, here we have a little bit different situation. We are given this table of values for y, x and y. And we need to write an equation that is the relationship between x and y. What relationship is there between these numbers? We just have to figure it out here. Okay? And write it as an equation like there. And then we will plot the ordered pairs here. Or however they go, I don't know. 0 and 10, 1 and 9, 2 and 8, 3 and 7. Can you see what relationship there is? It is that if you add these two, you always get 10, right? So this is the relationship. x plus y equals 10 all the time. Now, I can also write it in this way because it, it is very customary to write it as y equals something. In other words, how do you get y if you have x? If I give you x, that x is, um, if x is 3 and a half, how do you find y? Okay, if, if I give you 3, how do you get this number? You subtract from 10, right? So y would be 10 minus x. Both would be, both are correct. Now let's plot these number pairs over here and see what kind of pattern we get, if any. 0, 10 x is 0 here, and y is 10. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oops, it's over here, this one here. 1, 9. 2, 8. See, so it's going like a downhill run. 3, 7, and 4, 6, and 5, 5, 6, 4, 7, 3, 8, 2, 9, 1, and 10, Zero, right? Okay. The best I can. I'm sorry, it's a little crooked, but the best I can. You know, you can see it goes in a linear pattern, or there's a line, so to speak, here. 